Okay, now this video is, uh, it was a special request of um, Mariam Sweetie and she said she wants this question to be done of October, November 2014, paper 4 to question number 8 and that's what I am going to do right now, okay? So, we are given a bearing and in part A we have to find some distance. Now before we start, remember whenever you see bearing and there are always north lines, right? North lines. And then there is always some line going through those north lines, okay? And remember this angle and this angle, they will always add up to 180, okay? Because they are supplementary, they are two. These two north lines are parallel lines, okay? So these two will add up to 180. And this, if this is A, then this angle here will also be A, okay? This angle here. And if this is B, this alternate angle will also be B, okay? So this will always work when you are solving your bearing questions and it is related with angles. Now let's start. In part A, we have to show, in part A, we have to show the distance LQ is 39.5 km correct to one decimal place. So we have to find this distance, okay? This is my X. And... Uh, Either we have, either we use the sine rule or the cosine rule. We have to know the angle opposite to it. Okay, we have to know this angle. Otherwise, we cannot find this one. Okay, so I haven't, we haven't just labeled this thing yet. The angles here. So it says Q is 74 kilometers from P on a bearing of 142. So if I, if it's, it's like saying from P, if this you see this knot, if it is, if I turn this and it is then pointing towards Q, then the angle that it will make is 142. Okay, so this whole thing till here is 142, and then from P again, the L is 110. Okay, again, I have to start from P's north, and it always I, I will go clockwise, and this one till L is 110. Okay, so this whole big one is 142 and its left part is 100, the remaining right part, oh it's 110, sorry, it's 110, let me write it again, it's 110, so the remaining this part will be obviously 32, okay, the whole 142 was made up of two one, two sides, yeah, this, this side and this side, so, okay, you got it I think, yeah, now, um, once I know this angle, I can use now how many sides I have one, two sides, and third side side that I'm looking for. And then there is this is one angle, okay? So it's three sides, one angle. So we have to use the cosine rule, okay? Now that's what I'm going to do now. So it's the side I'm looking for is my x square equals to the other two sides square 74 square, and the other side was. Um, 58 square minus 2 times the other two sides again right times cos the angle which is e opposite to the, uh, the side we are looking for it always has to be the opposite one okay which was 32 okay now I will solve this part first of all it is 1560 so my x square is equals to 1560.355 and sorry 355 and so on. I will just root my answer and I will leave this in the calculator to, to get as accurate as possible. Okay, root my answer and I will get 39.50 and this said show correct to one decimal place so I will at least show to two decimal place and so on and then I will correct my final answer to one decimal place okay so it's equals to 39.5 to one decimal place okay and you got your five marks part B use the sine rule to calculate the angle PQL so we have to find from PQL so we have to find this angle okay so I know one opposite side I have another angle and its opposite sides so that should be enough two angles and two sides okay so my Q sine Q over its opposite side which is 58 
is equals to the other side which we know sine uh, 32 over its opposite side I can use this one 39.5 and even if you never found this you can still use your answer here so you can still get your three marks okay don't just leave this part just because you never got uh, your answer in part A okay now I will just use my algebra this 58 I will cross it up and I will have sine Q is equals to sine 32 over 39.5 times 58 I will solve this one with calculator and I will have sine Q is equals to I have 0 0.778 and so on I will keep this in my calculator and sine on the other hand side will become sine inverse it will be Q equals to sine inverse and whatever whatever was my answer in the calculator and the final it will become 51.08 and so on and my final answer to one decimal place it will be 51.1 to one decimal place remember the answers to degrees we have to round it to one decimal place okay not to three significant figures and part C now okay let me just label this one it will always help me the angle Q is 51.1 this is 51.1 okay and let me see the next part find the bearing of P from Q so if I start from Q and this north when it touches this line it, this is what I'm looking for okay now now before I start this one I already told you this th these things okay so if you can still apply this if I if I extend this line here and if I extend this line over here okay so if from here till here it's 142 then this side they should add up to 180 right so if I say 180 minus 142 and I will get this side from this side this small one here is 38 okay and then this again becomes the alternate these two becomes the alternate this one and this one again this is 142 right so again this 38 to this 38 okay so this this you can always do that okay anyway we were looking for the bearing of um, P from Q so if I start from Q this go round 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 this one this is the angle which we are looking for uh, and by the way this side we already know this half is 142 and this is a semicircle right angle on a straight line this is 180 isn't it so this is 180 and from here from here till all the way till the line P it's 142 so if I add up I will get this whole bearing so it's 142 plus 180 and this is equals to 3 2 2 okay now part 2 we have to find the bearing of L from Q so I will start from Q and go to L so I have start from Q's north and go to L okay this only this one only this part this whole part was 51.1 and this part is 38 right so from the whole 51 from here till here if I take out this part I will I will have this part as a remaining one okay so it will be 51.1 and from that I will take out the left part I will have the right part then because I'm looking for the right part the right part okay so it's 51.1 if I take out the part which is on the left I will have the part which is on the right which is 13.1 degrees okay now um, part D the ship takes 2 hours and 15 minutes to sail the 74 kilometer from P to Q calculate the average speed in knots let us find the speed first in kilometers per hour then we will go to the knots okay that's not a problem so average speed formula is total distance over total time okay that's for the average speed okay so the total distance is very simple 74 what about the total time is 2 hours and 15 minutes okay so I will convert everything in hours 
2 hours plus 15 minutes but I want in hours and how many to convert from minutes to hours we can divide by 60 okay so this is my total time in hours and this is my total distance okay so if I divide this by calculator I will get 32.888 and so on 32.888 and so on I'll keep this value in my calculator and now I have this is my in, in hours okay this is my hours but I want in uh, kilometers per hour sorry that's my average speed kilometers per hour but I want in knots so so they said not to km per hour they said 1 is 1.85 right 1.85 and how many knots we are looking for as our final answer but here we have 32.88 and so on so I will just cross multiply that right so what I will have is 1.85 x is equals to 32.88 right so this is multiplied here so on the right hand side it will be divided and I will have my answer okay so my answer on the calculator divide by 1.85 okay so it will be 9 points oh sorry it will be 17.777 17.777 to three significant figures it will be 17.8 okay now let's see the next part do we have an next part oh yeah we have an next part which says calculate the shortest distance from the lighthouse path of the ship from the lighthouse to the path of the ship now shortest distance there is a reason he said the shortest distance okay let's find out that reason how do we know it's the shortest distance anyway how do we know that so from L to this path the path of the ship was from P to Q right that was the path now uh, okay it looks very dirty does it yeah let me just remove this one then okay now this could be the path or this could be the path or this could be the shortest one how do I know which one is the shortest the one which makes a 90 degree angle from the line to the point is the shortest distance okay remember that okay so any this any line which makes the 90 degree angle that is the shortest one and once we have a 90 degree angle we can use the Kung Fu expression Sokatwa okay we can use that to find this length which we are looking for okay this is my x and I already know this angle which is 51.1 I already know this side from part a which is 39.5 okay so and the angle the side opposite to the 90 degree angle is my height and the angle which we know opposite to that side is the opposite okay so sine is equals to opposite over hype these two are the ones which we know so we'll use sine okay so sine 51.1 is equals to opposite side which we are looking for that's my x over the hypotenuse side which is 39.5 okay now I will use my algebra I will just multiply this here I will have sine sine 51.1 times 39.5 is equals to the opposite side which is what we are looking for which is 30 the opposite side is equals to 30.74 to three significant figures it will become 30.7 kilometers and this question is done